in a lot of different businesses, you exchange your time for money. Sports cards is one of the lowest cost to entry options that you can exchange your money for money. You do have to put in a little bit of time, but in anything, you're going to have to put in some level of time. Nothing is truly 100% passive. There's either startup time, there's either maintenance time or working time. In sports cards, you have a very, very valuable opportunity that is very low entry, like I said, but gives you the ability to scale however much you want. You can scale through card shops. You can scale through card shows. You can scale through Facebook. You can scale through Discord. You can scale through any imaginable way you can think of of buying sports cards. But what you're doing is you're parking your money into an asset that can sell online at shows 24-7. The stock market closes. The stock market opens. Sports cards never stops. I literally will close up my day, spend time with my family, check my phone before I go to bed, and it's just a flurry of people trying to sell to me. The buying opportunities never stop. And in sports cards and in any business in general, you make money when you buy, not when you sell. And so what I need you to try to understand in sports cards is to stop getting so focused on the players. So many guys are like, I'll never buy that guy. He sucks. Brother, I think Kyrie Irving is trash. Like hot garbage. But when that Kyrie Irving is coming to me, he's trash. When he's in my hands... Kyrie Irving is the hottest player in the market right now, boy. The point is putting money into an asset and moving it into another asset. I try to buy as cheap as I can and sell it as high as I can. But if you don't park your money into something and use all these different dollar bills as employees, I go to a show and I spend truly anywhere from $10,000 to my most I've ever spent at a show is $147. And there's a lot of ways to tackle that. Getting your capital is something you have to figure out. That's not what I'm here for. But what I do is I try to put every single dollar that my business allows me to put in to sports cards into a card, giving me the opportunity to make money off of it. Yes, putting all my money into those cards could give me a lot of variability in losing if those cards comp for less. That is just the name of the game. My goal in any business that I'm in, in anything that I'm doing, is to be counted for my losses. I'm supposed to win. When I go in and have 300 cards in my spreadsheet and five of them are losses, but the rest are wins, I'm happy. It's okay to take a loss, but all these employees of mine, AKA dollar bills are working for me all the time. I bought a card and I'm going to close this video on this like two or three months ago. And it's a miles McBride national treasures to 10. I bought it literally completely forgot I had it because I never sold it, just moved on. And dude was balling. I don't pay attention to Miles McBride. And I sold it recently and made $500. If I had sold it that day when I couldn't move it, I would have lost like 40 or 50 bucks and I didn't do it. And I honestly forgot about it, held it on accident and made $500 on it. That is a rare situation, but that is my point. Parking my money into something allows it to go up or down. And I can't tell you what exactly to buy, but the point is putting your money into sports cards, letting it work for you, letting the market come up and down, gaining income that way. So please, when you go to a show, as comfortably as possible, bring as much money as possible and put it into as many good buying opportunities as you can and you will come away successful in this space.